okay for solution of problem 3 in homework 7 this is what we have a person of 60 kilograms traveling at a car uh, at 15 meters per second and then we have two different distances at which it stops in case of a collision one is a distance of one meter which is the one it takes as it stops with the car and the other one is if it has no restraint the distance at which it accelerates is uh, just a distance of five millimeters which is five times ten to the negative three meters as we hear and the problem asks for the two different forces that need to be applied to the person's body for it to stop um, this problem according to what we have will be easier to get just the acceleration that you need for it to stop and then use force equals ma with the mass that we have the 60 kilograms to get the two different forces that you need to apply to stop it um, we're looking for when it stops so in, we know final velocity is 0 meters per second and according to the information that we have and what we need the equation the kinematic equation that we need will be this one solving for a you'll get and now you just plug in get the acceleration get the force first when you have restraint initial velocity is zero that final velocity is already zero So velocity is 15 meters per second and you're stopping over a distance of one meter in this case you have negative 2 to 5 meters squared per second squared over 2 meters is equal to negative 1 12.5 meters per second squared then for the force when restrained we multiply that times 60 kilogram MA you get that then for when you have no restraint your velocity still changes from 15 to 0 meters per second but now the distance at which that change happens it's much smaller 5 millimeters So we have the acceleration and we do the exact same. Force when you have no restraint, 60 kilogram times in Newtons. So those are our solutions.